My friend, welcome to Joystick. In this video, we'll look into coding a Python program to check if a number is odd or even. You will not learn one, but two methods to check if a number is odd or even. Don't miss out, especially on the second method. That is why it is necessary to watch this video till the end. I'll start writing the Python program straight away. In this script in my PyCharm ID, I suggest to follow along with me because that way you will learn it better. So we'll start with the main function. Let me type the main keyword and there you go. I have the main function. Now we'll take the number to check from the console. So for that, we'll write the input function that will display the message. Enter the number to check for odd or even. We'll type cast it to integer because input function returns a string and we'll store the value received through the input function in a variable known as v underscore num. All right. Now, simply we'll check for the remainder by dividing this v underscore num by two using the modulo operator. And if the remainder is zero, then the number entered is even else it is odd. So it will be if v underscore num person sign two is equal to zero then we are going to print that v underscore num is even so for that we'll write curly braces is even dot format and within format we'll pass v underscore num else it's odd so i'm going to copy and paste this over here in the else part as well. And instead of even, I'll write just odd. That's it. Code of method number one is complete. And this code looks decent. Let's run the program and check. All right, you can see that it's asking me to enter a number to check for odd or even. Let me enter four. There you go, it says four is even. Let's run the program again and check for an odd number. I'm going to enter seven this time and it says seven is odd. So the program is working very much fine. Now let's look into the second method, which is going to use the recursion technique. For this, we'll create a function. So I'm going to use the def keyword and let's call this function f underscore check underscore even underscore odd. And it's going to accept one argument, which will be the number to check and let that argument be n. What we'll do within this function is we'll keep subtracting two from the number stored in n till this number becomes either zero or one. If it becomes one, then we return that this number is odd or else it is even. So let's first write if n is equal to zero, then we return even. So it will be if within brackets n equals to equals to zero, colon. If that's the case, then we return the string even. All right. Then we write elif n is equals to equals to one, then we return odd. And we give some space over here for better visibility. And if it is neither even nor odd, then we have to call this function again. So it will be return f underscore check even odd. But this time as its parameter, we are going to pass n minus two. So let's see if n is three. Three is the number that we want to check whether it is odd or even. So since three is not equal to zero, hence the execution is not going to come inside this if three is not equal to one, hence the execution is not going to come in here. And hence the execution is going to come here. And this function will be called again, f check even odd. But this time the parameter will be one, three minus two is one. So coming back here, one is not equal to zero. So this line won't be executed one is equal to one hence the string odd will be returned so it's going to return odd to the previous function in the recursion tree and that previous function 
from here is going to return the string odd to the calling function so in the main function we call this function and take the returned value in a variable v underscore res so it will be v underscore res equals to sign f check even odd and we'll pass v underscore num because that's the variable which is accepting which is storing the input from the console we'll write another if else in which we'll write if v underscore res equals to equals to sign odd then we are going to print that uh, v underscore num is odd so let's copy and paste this line over here else we are going to print that v underscore num is even and to make the output from this particular part of code distinct let's write using function or better we write using recursion all right so this code looks decent let's run the program and check the output also let me tell you that this approach with the function is going to take longer to execute because the function is being called again and again till either one or zero is encountered so let's run this program you can see it's asking me for the number to check so let me enter seven and there you go the program prints using recursion that seven is odd let me run this again and enter an even number so let me enter 122 this time a bigger one and there you go using both the methods the program says that 122 is even with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues i'll see you in the next video of joey's tech goodbye and take very good care of yourself